Hi guys, welcome to the video and welcome to the PMDG 737NGX. Uh, it's something I've only just got a couple of weeks ago uh, for uh, P3D V3.1. This is running in, it seems to be okay, uh, all stable and good. Um, now I've not flown this aircraft much as I say, I've only had it for a couple of weeks and uh, I know it's got a good reputation so I'm looking forward to uh, to doing a full uh, run through of the FMC challenge with it. I might even throw in a few extra hard challenges for it given its, uh, given its uh, accolades that it's thus far achieved. Um, now all we're going to do here is have a very brief look at a way of speeding up manual input of uh, flight plans. Now obviously if you go through Simbrief or PFPX or similar then what you can do is you can uh, create a flight plan, download it and import it as a company route into these things which is all marvellous and fabulous. However there will be circumstances um, potentially where people may wish to uh, put their own route in. So here's the route we're going to manually enter. I'm going to use my little trick to manually enter it. Now this trick is available for all Boeing FMCs uh, from the 747, all the way, well 737 in this case, all the way through to the 777. All of them allow this technique to be used. And what we've got is a technique where we've got airways separated by uh, intersections. Look, so we've got airway intersection, airway intersection. Now as long as there is a, an origin and a, a a changeover point for want of a better way of putting it between the airways what we can do is we can get away with just entering the airways we do not need to enter the the, the, the crossover point we don't need to enter this intersection that the FMC is bright enough to know that if I'm on uniform Lima 10 the red one and I'm also going to go on to uniform Golf 42 that the intersection is Lesdo Lima Echo Sierra Delta Oscar so what I'll do now is I'll minimise this, put it into my other window, uh, and we'll see how we get on with programming it. So jumping back into the cockpit then, let's have a look at what I'm going on about. Uh, first thing is we'll set it up so that we can actually see what the heck we're doing. So that screen's now going to give us a good, uh, good view of where we're going with our route. Let's call up the CDU and put it somewhere better to see what we're doing. All the better to see you with. Right. So, FMC, check that, the air rack is fine, pause in it, in we go, we're at Echo Golf Kilo Kilo, uh, Kilo Kilo, in we go, root, Echo Golf Kilo Kilo grows back in there, we're going to Lowy, which is Innsbruck, Lima Oscar Whiskey India. Right, so let's get into our route stage now. So the first thing, departure and arrival, get the departure. We know we're going off 08, right, it's the Dover 2 per par. And then we can go back into our route page. Next page down, and that's our SID. Now, this is where the difference is. This is what most people end up doing. Lima 10 is the airway. We go on that way as far as Rinty. So, uh, where's it gone? R-I-N-T-I. Bosch. And you can see what most people do is they go airway, point, airway, point, airway, point. This system is dashed clever because what it knows is where two airways cross, well there's a point there, so let's just put that point on the right hand side. Allow me to demonstrate the next airway, Uniform uh, Lima 10. Bosch. Uniform Golf 4.2. Uniform uh, Golf and this is going to go in as fast as I can type it in. Uniform Mike 164. Uniform Mike 164. That goes in there. Next page. Uniform Lima 15. Uniform Lima 15. Bosch. Next one. Uniform November 491. Uniform November 491. That goes in there. Then we've got uni uh, Zulu 163. And if you make an error with two airways that don't have an intersection, it will tell you uh, Tango 103. So in fact, I'll do that now. Tango 23. Invalid entry. The actual entry that I should have put in is Tango 103. So if I go through it and I make an error, it's bright enough to know that that error is there. So the final one, as I say, was Tango 23. That goes in there. Now, it needs to know where it's getting off that airway because we've done a list where it knows where the airways cross, which is where all these are generated. It needs to know where we're getting off, and we're getting off at Gap Toe. So, Golf Alpha, uh, Papa, Tango, Oscar. Next page. We're now going to do a couple of uh, Direct 2s. So, we're going to go to Erba. In fact, we're going to do one Direct 2. And that's in order to uh, position ourselves. Uh, so, let's just activate that as we go. Uh, Lowy, going to go Rattenberg 1 Bravo, localizer 26, RTT transition, 
back to the root, execute that. Uh, we've got a few discontinuities, so we can clear those, uh, get rid of that one, execute that, and now you can see we've got a nice little line drawn. Look at that. How long did that take? Not very long at all. If I go onto the legs page now, and we bring this range down, and what we can do now, you can see it's centered, so uh, where are we going? Step. So, what we can do is you should always do it anyway to check for discontinuities. We'll go through and we will check Rinty. That was one of our changeover points between two airways. That's there. Let's step through. Lesdo was the next one, which is there, look. Luval was the next one, which is there. Abaki was the next one, which is there. Beggar. These are all our changeover points. Zoo. Nunri. Bemke and Gapto. They're all there. So um, literally that's our route planning done in, uh, well, about a minute really, isn't it? And I think you'll have to agree that that is a very nice little trick for getting a, way, uh, a series of waypoints and a route nice and quickly into the FMC of the 737 NGX. But that also works for the 74, 75, 76 and 777 Boeings. Uh, so their FMCs all have that capacity. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys, hope you found it useful and uh, as I say this is uh, an aircraft that I'm going to be uh, bringing uh, to uh, light in terms of the uh, FMC challenge. Uh, it's going to face uh, the FMC challenge uh, and I actually think it's going to do very well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up throwing a few curveballs in it that are uh, more, more advanced than uh, you would normally see in the FMC challenge. Uh, so I look forward to doing that for you guys and I'll speak to you soon and uh, take care.